Hey everybody. How y'all doing? Mike Hines here. Way of Life Outdoor Survival. Um, Sunday afternoon day y'all. About 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm home. I had a lot to do. So, thought I'd do a little cooking. My wife loves these kind of days. And y'all, it's kind of cool outside, you know. Not a lot going on. Um, I was thinking about gumbo. Well, my wife, she's not as big on spicy food and stuff as I am, so uh, I'm going to try to come up with something a little different today. I'm going to try to do something like a gumbo, but um, do a cream-style gumbo, more like a uh, gumbo chowder or something. But anyway, y'all, we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. First thing I did, I got me some potatoes cut up, got them stewing in a pot. Just about, I'm going to try to get them about half done, that way um, they won't take so long when I add them in the big pot. And... Uh, First thing I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to go on and take, cut me up some green pepper and some onion. And uh, we'll get them cut up real quick. Alright, y'all. About got the onion and the green pepper cut up. While I'm finishing up, I'm going to take three tablespoons of butter. Throw off in here. Let it start melting down pretty good. Let's melt it. I'm gonna finish cutting the green peppers up. Dicing these up pretty small. All Through a little bit, and then uh, while that's waiting, we're gonna go and get our meat ready. All right, y'all. My green peppers and onions are cooked down, caramelized. Now it's time to add our meats. And for meats, I got about a hundred shrimp, already peeled, detailed, deveined. Had uh, two smoked sausage. I already got one of them cut up, and three boneless chicken breasts. So we're going to get all that added in and we're going to go from there, y'all. I'm cooking this on just like a low medium heat. Alright. Got a shrimp in there. And our 
chicken bread. get done and I tell you what I am going to do since we got our meat in there and that's all I want this meat to have a pretty good flavor so I'm going to add just a little bit of seasoning salt I don't measure seasoning y'all I just put what in there what I think a little bit of seasoning salt a little bit of garlic powder I'm just pretty much doing equal amounts Onion powder. A bit of Cajun. A bit of Creole. pepper I'm going to do just about a maybe a teaspoon of salt maybe a half a teaspoon I always add more a little bit of cilantro it's just the uh, dried cilantro leaf and I'm going to add a little bit of a mesquite flavor to it just a little bit. All right. Now, I'm gonna stir all that up with all this meat cooked in there with them onion and pepper. Let the seasoning cook into the meat, and then we'll be ready to do our vegetables, y'all. All right, y'all. We've got our meat, sausage, chicken, shrimp, about half done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add two cans of sliced mushrooms, I've already got them open and drained, add two cans of that when the meat is just about half done, alright. Get that all mixed in there, I'll tell you what, it's starting to smell good. longer. Turn it up just a hair. Almost a medium, like a low medium heat. Alright y'all. Alright y'all. So far, here's what we got. Our shrimp, chicken, sausage. That seasoned up pretty good. Green peppers and onions in there. But all that's done. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to add some vegetables to it. Like I said, y'all, I'm just trying to come up with something a little different here. Kind of a, I guess you'd call it a gumbo chowder. I'm not sure. But anyway, we're going to take um, one can of whole kernel corn. I've already got it drained. We're going to put the whole can in there. We're going to take one can of sliced carrots, drained. Add that in there. Two whole diced tomatoes. Add that in there. Alright. Get all that stirred up. The last vegetable we're going to add, we're going to add our potatoes in there.
good. We're gonna let that cook on low medium heat for a little while, and um, we'll see how it turns out here in a little bit, y'all. All right, y'all. Now what I've done is um, I've taken the top off and let this kind of cook on a medium heat. And what I've done is try to let it condense down and get as thick as I possibly can. And now we're gonna go on and add the last of our ingredients. got this on a low medium see what that looks like all right now I'm gonna turn that on a low very low heat just let it simmer for about I don't know I'll be checking it ever I don't know ever eight ten minutes or so but I'm gonna let it sit here and simmer for at least 30 minutes all right all right y'all this stuff been simmering for about I don't know 15 minutes or so so I just went on and stirred in, um, I did uh, one cup of a rice and vermicelli mix. And we're gonna let that sit there and thicken up until the rice gets done and it should be ready, y'all. All right, y'all, looks pretty good and done. I guess there ain't one thing left to do and that's a, try a little bit of it. We'll get us a sample going here, how about that? just a little bit we'll try it out well y'all like I said Sunday afternoon and here at the house thought I'd do a little cooking um, try something new come up with Let's see what we got here melted the cheese on it out kind of like a gumbo. Mm. Then we added our cream and stuff to it. Give it kind of a twist like a chowder. I guess if I had to name it I'd call it a gumbo chowder. So anyway y'all I hope y'all see this, you like it, try it, enjoy it, and uh appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs>